Hello and welcome to the Web Abacus demonstration of the new funnel report in Web Abacus version 6 and also the use of the Save Favorite reports for the tool. This is a live demo and can be accessed at demo.webabacus.com and you should see a login screen like this. We'll log in with the generic test account which is designer space store and the password is password all lowercase. Then just click on the OK button. Here we're taken to the summary report, a top line metrics report which you can configure to show either a basic metric or a gauge chart such as this. A trends chart, so this demo only has one day's worth of data. And down at the bottom we have comparison values as well. So you can see how the particular data you're looking at compares to the various side averages. So anyway, on to the demo. If we go to the e-commerce section, I'm going to look at the e-commerce funnel that we've added under here. And this report shows us a particular process flow, in this case an e-commerce booking function, where I'm adding pr uh, products to a checkout process. Each stage in the process is defined up here, and we can see the flow of traffic going down through, in this case, six stages within the process. We have and can show the top five links into a particular stage and then the amount of traffic away from that stage and finally the traffic that actually progresses down onto the next stage. Now with the funnel report in WebAbacus we've looked across the various vendors and we've built up to three different methodologies into this one funnel report. The first is that for these 406 visits down here you can treat each stage individually. So these 406 are completely isolated, they do not have to have come from stage one. So we can come in from lots of different places. So it's an unordered fashion. We're simply just looking and counting the number of visits at each individual stage. Secondly, we can look at an ordered fashion, whereby you look at a particular stage and you only count the visits here if at some point in their visit they have been to the previous stage. Now they can view any, they can view any page in between those two points but they must have viewed step one before they view step two. The final method is a strict sequential order where only visits, visits are only included at stage two if they have viewed step one immediately prior to that. So you've got the flexibility of looking at a loose um, process where you may have optional pages. Alternatively, a far more rigid process where you're interested in only the strict movement going down here. Again, with all of these, as with all the charts in Web Abacus, I can click on a particular stage and I can look at the trend of that value or indeed the underlying segments. So here, for example, I can compare the visits that went to stage one, the add to basket stage, compared to the overall unaggregated traffic. I can look at the geographical location of those users. But I can compare that as well to the final stage of my process, completed purchase, to see if there's any actual difference. And here we're not seeing anything amazingly different. But I may want to look at the search phrases. So click on here. On the left hand side I've got my search phrases visits that added to basket. And on the right it's defaulted back to the unsegmented traffic. But I may want to compare that now to the completed purchase traffic. And here I can compare the search phrases that were used for the add to basket versus the ones that actually completed. So here we can see that actually designer was the most predominant search phrase followed by women's fashion versus for the stage one where visits predominantly were actually designer clothes and luxury women's wear. Down at the bottom of the report we also show a tabular version so you've got all the data that you can pull through there. A couple of things, the average time is the average number of seconds from the beginning of the visit that the stage was viewed. So you can get an understanding of the time difference between each stage to see are there particular points where people are having to spend a lot of time before they're progressing on. The average views represents the number of times each particular stage has been viewed on average in each visit. So if you have an error reporting function on one of your stages that the person is stuck in a loop on that page, the average views will be pushed up. The average depth here shows the number of pages into a visit that these stages viewed on average. So here the add to basket is viewed on average the fifth page into the visit. The final column we show here is the success count, 
which is the number of visits for that particular stage that actually reached the end of the process. So here, for example, there was 1,001 visits that went to the add to basket stage, but only 40 of those visits themselves actually reached the end of the process. This works very well if you have optional stages and so forth. Anyway, on to the add to favorites report. I decided that I want to keep this report and use it on a regular basis. So on the top here of the report name, I have a little icon, which is the add to favorites icon. And if I click on this, a little light box message that comes up and asks me if I do want to add it to favorites. And as I want to do that, I'm going to click on OK. The report is then added to my favorites list, list and on the left hand side navigation over here, I'm then just shown a list of my favorite reports. This is persistent, so if I log out and log back in, I will only see this list of my reports and I can toggle between the full list and the report list as much as I like. And that concludes the favorites report. If you have any questions, please contact us on the details below.